Here we've got a not so old cast iron lantern with a very old blacksmith made hook. This tree is going to be full of lanterns at some point in time. What's going on everyone? Garth here from Archie Salvage. Today we're going to spend most of our time in the backyard. Might do a little bit of pricing, but uh, it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag. Where else can you find archery, kookaburras, dumpster fires, and pricing all in one spot? I commissioned these chairs, I believe in 2019, from a maker in Kuhlman. He didn't charge me that much. Um, unfortunately, the product isn't quite exactly what I wanted, but with a bit of adjustment, um, they will become nicer. That hemisphere in the middle that's upside down was a sculpture project. In fact, the last serious sculpture I ever made, which was in 2004. It was the base of a throne that I made cast iron. The mold itself was made out of a beach ball and it has been sitting since the exhibition basically in the backyard. It's very heavy, hard to move. We are going to repurpose it into a fire pit. It's a bunch of junk we're going to burn off today. That's going to be the first time we've used it as such. That disc over there we're thinking of converting into a top for this so it can function as a table when it's not being used as a fire pit. Today I'm having a little bit of a therapy session. My uh, wife bought me a bow and arrow last year for my birthday. And today's the first time I've had it out since we've moved up here. And it has been quite cathartic for me. I need to get a finger grip or a, some, a finger guard and an arm guard, but at this point in time, I'm shooting it without it. Okay, so we use our own cut tags. Um, one of our storage units that we bought in, I think, 2017 had approximately a thousand blue folders in them, uh, which we, which is how we did it when we first set up. Uh, but because we've been doing it, oops, I messed that one up. Because I've been doing it in the house cutting them in the house we've gone and bought new manila folders to do this with which is what I'm doing today typically I sit down and I make when I'm doing a lot of pricing because of COVID you know the shop's not open all the time it's sort of really slowed this part of it down um, but I used to sit down and make stacks and stacks and stacks of these um, but anyway usually I do you can see these, I use the Alvi labels a lot, and usually I print these, but at the moment, I don't have the time or the inclination, so I'm just going to price a few of these as, I, as they come up. So I'm going to call that a vintage can opener. Uh, Thank you. 
Oh, I did that one off camera. Sorry about that. Um, stall number and amount. I think five is fine for that, don't you? Yeah, okay. And so I'll do a few of these at a time. Oh, you want to hang that up? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have a short segue here, folks. We've got a welcome sign that needs to be hung up. That'll happen soon. And we have a nail. A pre-existing nail. All right. You going to hang it? Or am I? Yeah. All right. This is my favorite Australian bird. I don't know if it's going to work. Sorry. This might be a bit awkward for a minute. Hold on. Okay, we recording? Yes. All right, so we drilled some holes. I don't have a hammer drill, but we drilled some holes in the masonry. And here's me trying to hang up the kookaburra. Ooh, that worked all right. Looks like I got it enough to... Oh, see that one bending on me? When I was a kid, my grandpa, my dad's dad, had buckets full. Oops, that one is just a bad nail. Full of bent, rusty nails for me to straighten at my leisure. <laughs> Which I actually took a sick pleasure in doing, but <laughs> must be genetic. I think we might just tap it in and call it good enough, hey? What do you reckon? Is that enough, or do you want me to try to get a better one? It's not very good. That one's in good. Yeah, good enough. You're not saying much. You happy with this? Is your thing we're hanging out? Yes. It has to go in though. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. So last weekend, we worked tirelessly and we got the fire pit organized. And I believe Garth's going to set it on fire. So the start of our garden down the back is happening. And uh, some of the plants are here. They're looking healthy. We're really excited to see how the roses do. They, we cut them back hard and they are coming back very strong. I love the color of the leaves on this plant. It's almost purple. This plant has some vicious thorns on it it's not fun trying to trim that one you definitely i wear welding gloves when i'm working with these that's better i think that'll do let's see if it hangs yep Beautiful. That's been waiting to be hung up since 15, we think. No, was it then? Def definitely 15. Okay. Was she open in 15, was she? Yeah. Alright, anyway, I'm going to get back to work. Flame boy. Flame boy. Years and years and years of work. We are culling in the house at the moment. We've had rain for two days straight. This is mostly her old nursing papers and some of my old research stuff that I don't need. We had boxes full that we just keep lugging around with us. All right, well, it was nice earlier, but it's uh, turned quite cold all of a sudden. And uh, looks like I'm gonna have to get this pricing done before we get rain done. Well, I had some things to pack the other day and ship, and fortunately, the thing I have most of are empty, boxes. 
You can see my archery target earlier, which is nothing more than a box of the moving blanket in it. All right, so pricing, eh? I think we're gonna actually do it in the shed or in the carport. All right, so I've grabbed a few things. Some of these are already priced. Some of these I've got tickets for, but haven't priced. So we've got uh, uh, Cooper's walking stick. What do you think? Five bucks. We've got this is almost like a uh, rider's crop. What does it say? Pro only. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, it looks like a golf club that's had. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. A golf club that's been turned into a walking stick. Maybe that's a ten dollar item. Maybe. Maybe I'm being optimistic. It's hard to know sometimes. That's also the same. Looks like a golf club that's been modified. So let's make tickets for those. That is a fine from the side of the road. Nothing special, obviously. And it's even, you know, a bit of a gamble as to whether that's even worth five bucks to anyone. But I don't mind trying that, you know. I'm just like, oh, well, it's, you know, it's a piece of junk I can throw it in the scrap metal or someone might give me five dollars for it. So this, on the other hand, is a strap from an old door or an old gate. That's got to be worth ten bucks easily, I would have thought. What else? We got some boxes of stuff. So we've got a glass frog. You know, what do we think? Eight dollars maybe? You might disagree. I don't have a black light, so for anyone who's gonna ask me that, I do not know if it's uranium glass, I doubt it. I might just put that I showed that earlier, I think. I might just put that up for sale in the in the shop for two bucks or something. I don't mind having a little. That can go in the shop for probably, I suppose, five dollars. I doubt this doily is worth pricing, but it's here. Oh, why not? See, it's got stuff on it. I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. We have an old commander telephone from Telcom Australia, Commander S series. Just that, but, but I will include with it even though I don't think they match. Okay. Maybe that, that has the right color, doesn't it? Why don't we pretend it matches only? Alright, All right, so that's the phone. Let's say that's the phone. Oh, I suppose 20 bucks, huh? We can put the extra one with it. That does not... Oh, that fits too. Which one is it? Now I'm confused. Oh, see that on the... Well, that doesn't really help me. I'll sell it together, right? I'm not sure which one goes with it, but I'll just bundle that together. 20 bucks maybe. Okay, so we've got a let's see if I can read it. It is a Banker Ellis tray. You know what? I think that might be eBay. Maybe I should polish that up. These have not done well for me. I've had a few uh EPNS nice things, but I think people just don't really like them anymore. This a select audience perhaps or something. Anyway, uh put that away. These, by the way, nothing special here that I'm showing you today. Just a little enamel plate, a couple bucks. There's one uh, bumper harvest made in China. Again, you know, a few bucks, not much. Believe it or not, things like that are actually pretty easy to sell. You wouldn't think so, but it's just the lid. Um, I know I've got the top to that somewhere. So a lot of this, because we're not there that much, this has become a little bit like an op shop. I try to keep it, you know, I like to have really nice things in the shop, but I actually don't move that quickly. Um, we've had K 
cabinets just loaded with stuff in the past and sometimes it's been just exceedingly slow so things like garden stuff or you know yard displays or you know things that people can repurpose themselves seem to sell much quicker uh, than you know, a collectible teapot or a, something like that I like to call these Olympic rings I don't actually know what these are maybe they are from a kids jungle gym or something but I'll just bundle that together and put three or four bucks on it uh, what do we got we got a little paper mache box or I thought I put something in it before. Alright. Little um, Habitant Meekin uh, Gravy Boat. Press that up. pile of stuff to do. Uh, let's... Oh yeah, that's, that'd be the lid to this. You know, it's obviously not vintage, not antique, anything like that, but it'll still sell pretty well in that environment. I think that's actually a Care Bear type thing. Does it have bears on it? No. It's like a kid's hoodie towel. Yeah. Also known as a rag. Okay, so what's this? Okay, Wedgwood Home Garden Maze. Is there anything that goes with it? Yeah, okay. So that'll do alright. We have a set of four, are they by anybody? It just says made in England, so okay. Nautical thing, that'd be nice in a beach house, you know, if you had a little cottage somewhere. For your cup of joe. Cup of joe, I haven't heard it called cup of joe in a long time. I don't think we actually ever used that term back where I'm from. It's probably from movies that I know that. bunch of ways so I think we've done some where we're using this um, some of the tickets we've used this sort of pink twine with but there's all kinds of ways to attach one of the guys um, that does real well uses uh, green twist ties which is real effective actually uh, and so I sometimes use that but not very often all right what else do we have so we have now I actually called a dealer about these because these are antiques, um, but they've been painted by someone. So they're painted a long time ago, but they are Griffiths T tins. Now I know I actually have so the first one of these I typed up. I have another one, but I haven't printed it, so it's a bit. You know, I prefer to print them. You can see the difference between a printed and a written one. But it uh, doesn't really matter. Always expedient. Here's something I did the other day. I think yeah, okay. we had these out here. See, when I was pricing these in the, in the other clip in this video, Louise um, was helping me. And that was actually last weekend that we did that. But um, she hurt herself. She overdid it. Uh, and she hurt her, her back was really, really hurting her. So we gave up on that one. But, um, see, I did price those up. What do we got here? So we've got a small brown vintage hard side suitcase with latches. Put 20 bucks on it. Those are already done. That's done. So they'll all get neatly packed away here. What I'll do is I'll write the tickets for these other things and then I'll get back with you in a minute on that. Set. 
of 4 um, so 4 nautical themed ceramic Mugs. Made in England. As you can see, if I recorded all of these, we'd be here for about three hours. So I'll only do a couple on camera. Now, what do we think? I think eight dollars is a fair price for that. Two dollars a mug. All right. Well, while we're on, let's do. This is a this I've noticed it before, I don't think I've actually said so in the video, but I've noticed when you're trying to do I'm using a GoPro at the moment. Uh, when you're trying to do these close ups, see how that doesn't like to focus in? So this is great for certain things. It's not so good for this particular task. I tried using it on the stamp episode and it was a complete fail. I ended up using just my phone. Well, I suppose now is an appropriate time to say that I'm well aware that I need a microphone because it just is the part of the kit I don't have yet. But anyway, I digress. So we've got a Wedgwood Home Garden Maze uh, cup and saucer. So we had, no, I was just was saying that it, you need to be descriptive in your tags. We had a chair that we bought at auction that I absolutely loved. Uh, and we spent, I think, $125 on it. And we put it up for sale for $270, something like that. And one of my competitors had a tag on theirs that just simply said chair. Literally, this is a big dealer literally just said chair so they stole the tag from that put it ripped the tag off mine and put it on my chair and it went through the counter at $40 um, they have them on camera doing it of course nothing happened and I'm pretty sure they still shop there so and I know who they are of course but there are thieves everywhere Anyway, so writing descriptive tags is good for you and it's good for your competitors as well who are, and really it's a pretty small community. So, again, digressing. Wedgwood Home Garden Maze um, Ceramic Cup and Saucer E41 and I think five dollars is fine for that. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to do the rest of these. I might do a couple more, but I'll work on these other ones off camera, and then I'll get back with you in a second. Okay. So it's lightning round. Let's write some tickets really quick. So we have a small vintage. Woven. Uh, is it wicker? Game. Wicker basket. I'm not sure exactly what they are, so I prof profess my lack of knowledge. Uh, approximately 300 tall. I sometimes like to give dimensions. No. Not meters tall. Uh, five bucks. Why not? Okay, deal of the century. All right, so we got these pair of black plastic 
springs, possibly a uh, jungle gym. I don't know. I'm not even sure that's the right term anymore. I have no idea. I haven't played on the playground in about well, 300 years, something like that. Okay. Eight bucks, why not? A lot of the times this is just a guess. You know, it's hard to look up and say, oh well, this random item is worth this. Okay, so I have a. Uh, I have two of these. Um, I don't think they want to be. I don't think they're a pair. I don't think they go together. Why would you have. Well, maybe they do go together. What if we pretended that they live that they're from the same deal? They certainly made the same way. All right, let's let's pretend they're a pair. Okay, so so we have a bumper harvest vintage. Yellow enamel. Upper harvest. Um, dish with lid. Uh, sorry. See when I. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Dish. I'll pretend that's nothing. With uh, lid. That's terrible writing. Anyway, I'm in a hurry. I'll be 41. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, $7. I don't know. So you can see. Oh, I can. That's one thing I do not really love about the GoPro is I can't actually see what I'm videoing after about three seconds. I understand that saves battery, but it also makes it. That is about a three dollar item, maybe two dollars. Just make it super cheap. Just because I have no, like I said, nothing invested in this other than the original price. So you look at this and you go, "Well, that is really dusty." Yeah. But one of my chief mentors is someone who sells more than anyone else and does not, unless it's important, take the time to even do what I'm doing now. You know. You can sell antiques with dust on. This isn't an antique, obviously, but you don't get as good money if it's an important thing. So if it's something that's going to change the price from 100 to 300 obviously you take time to do the work. But if this is a $3 item, dusty or not, what's the point? Other than making your stall look good. But anyway, so we have Inhabitant, Meekin, Studio Wear, Gravy Boat. Let's price it. Vintage, Meekin, uh, Habitant, who doesn't need a gravy boat in their lives? I mean, if you don't have gravy, where are you in life, really? Be 41 uh, da, da, da. uh I suppose four dollars is fine for that right cheap even so I just don't do that well anymore uh, that is just a glass lidded glass okay Um, what do you want to call it a candy dish? Almost for tea or something. Or sugar. Glass. Dish. Sometimes I am at a last loss for words on how to describe something. Um, again, not super important. Four dollars. Okay. We have a uh, 
uh, I think it says bright heat, yep. Vintage bright heat uh, fuse wire. Heck. So, I mean, for that, I mean, tape doesn't really work. I can put it in a bag. It's not worth the time. I might just tape it on, yeah? I mean, it's not the best way, but I might just tape it on. All right, let's move along. So we have a US, uh, USA. See, I made a mistake. If I do a lot of. I'm going to be greedy on this one. I know it's not super important, valuable. I'm going to put. 15 bucks on it. And I'll probably put that in a cabinet just as a point of difference. Something, you know, I think it's a $50 item. If it's in great shape, maybe it's only, maybe I'm pricing it too high. Okay, so this glass frog, typically eight bucks. I remember seeing these when I was younger and going, I have no idea what that is. I think they're universally uninteresting, but other people collect them, so. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four items left to price, I think. Oh, we got through it relatively quickly. Just gotta put the tags on. All right, so uh, do I have four tags left? That's a good question. Oh, just, I can't make any mistakes. Or the cut new tags. Okay. So we have a vin. Oh, that's actually antique. Antique. Steel. Eight. Strap. With original bolts. Yeah, let's. Let's say it's a ten dollar item, why not? Okay. <laughs> I have I just keep seeing this jack and thinking, do I really want to have that? Nah. Alright, decision made, that is scrap. Alright, so we're on to this. Now why do antiques have to rust and make dust all over the place? Why can't they just be beautiful, all right? Marche, I don't know if I spelled it right. Um, box with fruit. Um, decoration. I don't know. Uh, Five dollars. And lastly. Lastly, we have a commander. So, Telstra. S series uh, phone late eighties is when it's from um, with extra handset
18 bucks. I have no idea what that's worth, but I actually don't really care. It's more that's in my way. It's either cheap or it's expensive. I suppose that's always true. Okay, let's uh, get these mounted. Hot tip if you don't want fingerprints, cut the bit off that you've touched. That's not why I did it that way. That was a mistake, but anyway. Oh, I think you get the idea. I'll finish uh, getting these all done, and then uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, so we managed to get all the tickets on that stuff. It's not a lot of stuff. I mean, in a big push, this is only be 10% of what I would get done in a day. Maybe, you know, 5% of what I get done in a day. A typical day of pricing where I'm being serious, I aim to do at least 100 items. Um, and I prefer to have three to 500 items priced at any one time. A good little infills, and uh, it'd be good to get that in the shop. More importantly, it's good to get out of my way. This is all stuff I was tripping over. And so when we get on to the next episode, um, I think we can actually go digging for things that uh, we haven't seen in a while or perhaps we've never seen before. So. Okay, everyone, that's all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed uh, our little backyard adventure. If you did, please leave a like, possibly think about subscribing. Um, as always, we welcome your comments below, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.